hit the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hello guys, today we have a question that says the coordinates of traverse stations of a closed traverse A, B, C, D, E are given in the table below. As you can see, we have station A, its coordinate in X and Y axis is uh, 0, 0, 0. Station B, its coordinate are 180 meter in X axis and 320 meters in Y meter. Similarly, for station C, D, and E, the question says calculate the area of the traverse. So, first of all, we can draw our coordinates in Cartesian coordinate so we have y axis here y axis in meter we have our x axis also in meter so you can choose a scale n scale now we are going to choose 100 100 meters interval we have 100 here, 200, 300, 400. Similarly, here we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. In the negative y axis, we have minus 100, minus 200. Similarly, now a negative x axis minus 100 so toward here is our origin 0 so point a has coordinate 0 comma 0 so this point is our point a and point b has coordinates 180 comma 320 so our 180 is somewhere around here and 320 is somewhere here So our point B is somewhere around here. Point C is 460, 460, comma 90. So our 90 is somewhere here. So this is our point C. Point D is 340, somewhere here, comma minus 120. So our minus 120 is here. This is our point D. Lastly, point E is minus 40, somewhere here, comma 200 here. So this is our point E. So our traverse is formed by joining these points A B to B, B to C, C to D, D to E then E to E to form a closed traverse as stated in the question. So this is our traverse area and we are asked to find this area. So now by writing the coordinate in determined form, form we are to write writing the coordinates In determinant determinant form we have our point A here point B C D E then lastly A so that we can form our closed traverse so point A has coordinate 0 0 Point B is plus 180 plus 320. Point C is plus 60 and plus 90. Point D's coordinate of plus 340 and minus 120. Point E minus 40 and minus 200. While our point A is 0, comma 0. So, as in the case of a 2 by 2 matrix, we know our determinant if we have s like numbers like A, B, 
CD and we are asked to find its determinant. We know the determinant of this matrix 2 by 2 will be A times D minus C times B. So similarly here we are going to see 0 times 320 minus I'm sorry minus 0 times 180 plus 180 times 90 minus 320 times 460 plus 460 times negative 120 minus 90 times 340 plus 340 times negative 200 minus negative 120 times minus 40 plus minus negative 40 times 0 minus negative 200 times 0 and our t total area will be 1 over 2 times summation of this determinant summation of the above above determinant so here we have area is equal to 1 over 2 into the first one we have 0 times 320 minus 0 times 180 as in case of 2 by 2 matrix we have this then plus we have this second matrix 180 times 90 180 times 90 minus 320 times 460 320 times 460 close bra the bracket plus the third one 460 times negative 120 we have 460 times negative 120 minus 90 times 340 we have to close the bracket plus the fourth one we have to report here times negative 200 minus negative 120 times negative 40 plus we have this one the last one negative 40 times 0 minus negative 200 times 0 yeah, we have a bracket here now we have to close our square bracket so basically here we ha will have 0 also here we will have 0 since we are multiplying by 0 so our area will be equal to 1 over 2 into 180 times 90 minus 320 times 460 plus 460 times negative 120 minus 90 times 340 plus 340 times negative 20 minus negative 120 times negative 40 so we will have minus 13100 plus negative 85800 zero zero my plus negative six eight four eight zero so our area will be one over two into the summation of this we give minus two eight five two eight zero this implies that our total area is equal to minus one four Two six forty squared meters, which which is equal to minus one point two 
0.64 pool coming which is equal to here we have 14.26 hectares this is no our factor for converting from squared meter to hectare is by dividing the value in squared meter by 10,000 so that we can get our value in hectares so this negative sign is because we consider our drivers to be clockwise that's why we have this negative sign because we considered our travels to be a clockwise thank you for watching if you have any comment you can put it in our comment section see you later